Hello everyone, welcome back to the second part of my vintage gravel build. Uh, so after riding this bike for a few weeks, I definitely had some things that I wanted to change. Uh, starting with the drivetrain, the 2x7 setup that I had originally installed, it just, it was not, not enough range, the gearing was way too tall. Uh, it was just very uh, unenjoyable uh, to any actual gravel. So I decided to harvest some parts off of another bike. Um, I'm switching to a 1x9 uh, drivetrain. So I've got um, a, an IXF 1X crank set with a 36 tooth front chain ring. And I've got a, a Shimano 9 speed uh, cassette. It's uh, 11 to 36, so it's reasonably wide range, but not too much. And then uh, the derailleur I'm going to reuse is just a Altus 8-speed, so that'll work for the 9-speed. So if you're looking for a budget drivetrain option, there's nothing better than just piecing together uh, low-end Shimano 8 and 9-speed parts. Um, we'll get into the shifters later, but I am using the Micro New 2 uh, 9 uh, shifters off of Amazon, the cheap uh, Micro Shift knockoffs. Um, I'll do another video uh, in, a, in a few months after I've ridden them a lot and we can do kind of a long, longevity uh, review. But initial impressions are good and they work very well. Um, I've used them on one or two bikes already. Uh, so let's uh, swap the crank set and then um, uh, we'll get into putting the shifters on. I'm sure a lot of you have seen these cheap crank sets on Amazon. Uh, if any of you have any concerns, uh, let me just tell you that I've used these these IXF crank sets on a couple different bikes for many miles, and I've had zero issues with any of them. Um, so I highly recommend them as a cheap uh, crank set option. I think the whole kit is like fifty dollars. Uh, it doesn't include a chain ring, but those are also pretty cheap. So uh, they're just a basic 104 BCD uh, crank set, and so they fit just about anything. Um, so yeah, they're just a great value. So with this 11 to 36 tooth cassette uh, and the 36 tooth front chain ring, I have gotten to a one by one uh, climbing ratio, which is what a lot of people recommend. Uh, you can go up or down based on your own preference, but for me, this works pretty well. You know, if anything, I could probably go a little bit bigger on the front and still be okay. So these are the micro new shifters. Um, they install pretty easily. The shifter cable comes out the side uh, and the brake cable goes in uh, from the front and then it travels underneath the handlebar tape uh, and out the back of the shifter. Uh, so you'll see that in a second. I'll, I'll show you a close up of that. Uh, but the shifters are, a, the brake pivot does uh, not move side to side to shift. It has two separate triggers, which I love. I don't like 
when the brake uh, lever moves inward to shift. So this actually works really well for me, and I, I very much um, approve of. I very much appreciate this setup. All right, so here, when I was taking off the original uh, bottom bracket, uh, when I pulled it out, a bunch of just old, nasty, rusty water fell out of the bottom bracket shell. So I looked underneath and I realized there's no drain hole, uh, which a lot of bikes nowadays have. So I decided to flip the frame over and drill a small hole in the bottom of the bottom bracket shell in order to just let it drain out that water. Now, I didn't feel like taking the frame set out, so I'm just doing this really carefully. I'm putting very little pressure. Uh, and as soon as the drill bit breaks through the steel, I'm just going to stop and just pull it out real quick. Like, there we go. Uh, and that's just to keep, there's a plastic tube protecting uh, the spindle of the bottom bracket of the crankset. But even so, I don't want to hit it too hard just in case I accidentally dig through it. So that, just as long as you're careful, you can do that. Now these are the 46 centimeter Sasa cow chippers. Uh, I actually have to, after riding with these bars, I really like them. Uh, they have the, just the right amount of flare. They have a tiny little bit too much drop. Um, maybe that's just for me. I'm not used to drop bars, but so far, like I've, after riding a few times, I really do like these bars. Um, they put the hoods in a good spot. The width is good. I'm, also, I'm coming from a flat bar mountain bike background, so having the extra width is really nice. Uh, I wanted to get these bars because I didn't want uh, such like the gravel bars with the really extreme flare on the drops, like the, the wood chippers. Um, they're angled in quite a bit more and they're angled out farther on the drops. And I really didn't want that. I, just, I wanted it to be more of an all road type gravel bike. So, you know, gravel and road, I didn't want a really extreme hand position. So here the brake cables came come out the back of the, of the micro new shifters and I've taped them to the bars. And uh, here I've already wrapped the left side handlebar and uh, we'll, we'll get to right, wrapping the right one now. The tape I'm using here is just the Originate, just basic foam tape. Uh, I actually really like it. It's cheap. The foam is pretty thick. It's uh, nice and cushy, and it's adhesive backed, so the installation is pretty easy as well. You know, since, since this bike is gray. I decided I really wanted to get some more color on there, so that's why I went with this uh, awesome pink camo tape. 
I think it looks great. So here I decided to go back a little bit and wrap it a little uh, tighter so that I can meet that uh, the base of the hood with uh, more material, material closer to the center of the hood. You'll see what I mean when we get back up there. So I'm just wrapping a little closer this time, um, overlapping more each time. So I can get one more wrap there and then the next one will be right over the, the center tape that I've put behind the hood. There we go. Didn't get it quite tight enough. There we go. Perfect. Now we've got good coverage behind the hood. And the bike is done. So that's uh, Salsa Cal Chipper Bars, 1x9 drivetrain, uh, and I finally wrapped the handlebars. Uh, I've got a race coming up very shortly uh, that I'm gonna do on this bike. Um, so I'm gonna make a video about that, and we'll talk about how well the bike did and you know future improvements or uh, you know anything that didn't work so well. Uh, so we'll talk about you know the build uh, then. But for now, uh, just enjoy uh, these glamour shots. Um, I really like the way this turned out. Um, I know it's always a constant project with these things and you know I'm going to change some things at some point but I really enjoyed how it came out for now.